I got some good news for the RTX 40 series and a big update when it comes to the RTX 3090 Ti. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by RGB Swap, a better alternative to eBay that I really think you should take a look at. RGB Swap is a marketplace exclusively for selling and buying computer parts that offers much lower fees than competitors such as eBay as well as greater protection against scams. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, you're guaranteed to be protected since all orders have to be paid for first and the funds are held for 48 hours after the buyer receives the item or they leave feedback, ensuring that you never get sold a bad item. Additionally, all disputes are manually reviewed and PayPal is used exclusively for an extra layer of security. I gotta tell you guys, I like this website a lot and I really want it to take off as a better alternative to eBay, so please, if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts online, click the link in the description below and give it a shot. I think you'll really like it. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the RTX 40 series because I actually have some great news when it comes to Nvidia's next generation of GPUs, which by the way, allegedly are gonna be actually releasing near the end of 2022. So that's actually not too far away at this point. Yes, we're just at the beginning of 2022, but it is gonna go by relatively quick, mark my words. And a lot of people are very excited for cards like the RTX 4080, 4070, and 4090 because allegedly, according to to leaks, these cards could potentially be up to nearly two times as fast as the cards they're going to be replacing. That's right, if you have an RTX 3080 right now or you're looking to buy one, the RTX 4080, at least in theory, could potentially be nearly two times as fast as that card, which makes it a very, very exciting purchase. It's only going to come down to whether or not the price is reasonable to determine whether or not these cards are actually going to be worth purchasing, because otherwise, yeah, very exciting stuff. But I got some even better news because not only are these cards going to be very very powerful but apparently they're going to have much better supply when compared to the RTX 30 series or at least they should have at least a little bit better supply according to Nvidia's CFO Colette Crest. Now he didn't necessarily specifically specify that the RTX 40 series specifically would be the cards that were going to have much better supply but here's what he had to say when asked about supply on the RTX series in general. So he says quote so even throughout all of calendar 2021, we have seen strong demand for GeForce, and it continues to remain strong and stronger than our overall supply that we have. We have seen channel levels be quite lean and we are working with our supply chain partners to increase the availability of supply, and we feel better about our supply situation as we move into the second half of calendar year 2022. So yeah, like I mentioned, he didn't necessarily say the 40 series specifically, but we do have to keep in mind that the second half of 2022 again is going to be when the RTX 40 series should be releasing and I'll actually add in to what he said uh, and you know even though we have heard many times before oh yeah we're going to be seeing an increase in supply and I always go like this when I hear that because honestly I've heard that way too many times honestly guys I think this one could be having some amount of truth behind it because you know what not only can he not actually lie to people because this is going to be a part of a conference where investors might be listening in on and they could definitely be sued if they do try and lie so uh, yeah there's that angle but on top of that we do also have to keep in mind that when the RTX 40 series does end up releasing they are likely going to keep around some of the RTX 30 series cards as well so even even though, uh, you know, it is going to potentially reduce the amount of supply you might see in the 30 series, I think there's going to be a much bigger amount of cards coming out in the 40 series, so you add the two together, and I think basically no matter what happens uh, between the 30 series sticking around and the 40 series being on a new node, we should be seeing a significant increase in supply overall, especially considering that Nvidia has probably had time at this point to go ahead and talk to whether it be Samsung or TSMC, who's going to be developing their next generation 5 nanometer GPUs, and ask for a lot more supply this time around probably make a negotiation to try and get a lot more wafers which of course if you're a gamer is going to be great news for you because like I mentioned you're going to be seeing a huge massive increase in performance and also probably going to be seeing a large increase in the amount of supply available on release as well so here's hoping that you know within a couple weeks of release you can actually have a chance of buying that brand new graphics card because I don't think any of us want to see a repeat of 2020 and 2021 as those years yeah 
they were an absolute disaster. Also, one more thing I want to mention real quick before we wrap this up and move on to the next topic is that it is also likely that cryptocurrency mining is going to be a lot less popular near the end of 2022, especially if proof of stake, which allegedly is going to be happening mid 2022, does go in effect. Uh, you know, either way you slice it, I think it's going to be a lot less profitable to mine in 2022, meaning that there's going to be a lot less popularity of it, meaning there's also going to be a lot less people fighting you for that increased supply coming from the RTX 40 series. But now let's go ahead and move on to the RTX 3090 Ti because yeah, I have a big update here, guys. But the update is that unfortunately, the RTX 3090 Ti looks to be delayed as it's having some issues. Now, according to videocards.com, here's what they had to say about the RTX 3090 Ti. Quote, Tweaktown citing their own sources claims that Nvidia has made a decision to ask board partners to pause production of custom GeForce RTX 3090 Ti graphics cards. Nvidia has requested board partners to pause the production of the RTX 3090 Ti cards, the just announced flagship GPU featuring the full GA102 GPU. This SKU was originally planned for January 27th release. There was also an embargo set for this week that has just been cancelled. So honestly guys, this actually doesn't surprise me too much considering how much trouble we had with the original RTX 30 series launch, especially AIBs producing cards that unfortunately just weren't up to snuff and were having some issues and Nvidia having to release a new driver, uh, pulling back the clock speed slightly. So honestly, it doesn't surprise me too much that, you know, pushing that power out even further. Some of these AIBs, you know, I don't mean to throw shade. I'm not going to uh, specifically name any specific AIBs, but I think we all know that there are those AIBs out there that do a pretty shoddy job of producing GPUs. They cheap out in a lot of areas, and yes, this can lead to situations where it could be a concern to NVIDIA that some of the cards they're, you know, being handed uh, are, are probably not going to be approved, because NVIDIA's probably looking at them and going, really? This, that you want to put shove 450 watts through this? Not going to happen. So yeah, it doesn't really surprise me. It's a good thing this is actually getting delayed, because the last thing we want is a bunch of 39 DTIs out in the wild that could potentially start on fire or explode. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the RTX 40 series is going to have better supply than the RTX 30 series, or do you think that NVIDIA is yanking your chain once again? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.